that Tony was uh, talking back and forth with Joey. Basically, when Joey told him just to leave, he was just telling him that he can't believe his parents gave him the shot to fail or something like that. Yes, sir. Okay. And then it was. Then you said it was. It was quiet when they were together. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you see them encounter each other? Not personally, he was, all I remember was when I turned my head for a second is they were standing near each other up front. What did you hear again? What did you? I just heard him yell. What did you hear him yell? That he got stabbed. Okay, and then what happens after that? I just, when I reacted, when I turned my head, I just saw Joey standing there and I know the way his body was, he was like holding his side. Okay. And then what did you do? I know you said you froze, but what Kind of froze. What did you do after that? After we froze, we, me and Kevin, like, got our head together and we um, locked the, the door they went out of. I made sure that my driver was inside safe after that. Because this was something completely out of the normal, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you see Tony after that? When you froze, did you see Tony leave? Or did you have the not, to see him? Not a second. We just, after Joey got stabbed, we didn't see him for a second, but then he, like, popped away from the corner. There's a lot of corners in the shop, so he popped up and then he went off the door rail. Right? 